Hi everyone, I am Nishant and I am back in another video of Avid Education Academy. See, our motive is simple to give you free education through your laptops, mobiles and PCs. And don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification first on your phone. So, let's get started. Hello everyone, I am back with my new topic that is explicitly. Before starting this topic, I want to tell you about what is excretion. Excretion is a process by which metabolic waste products and toxic materials are removed from the body of an organism. What is this toxic material? See, lot of chemical reactions occur in our body, in every living organism. And this and as a result of this metabolic reactions, the waste products, the end products are formed. Some are useful and some are toxic and poisonous and should be removed from the body immediately. So how this process is uh, done in the body, so we will talk about that. The main organs which are involved in excretion is number one in lungs. See, respiration, every living thing respires, we know. They take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. In taking in oxygen, they just burn their glucose molecules to produce energy. And as a result of this, one end product is formed that is known as carbon dioxide. And this is removed through lungs. So this is our first excretory area. Second one is skin. What does the skin do? Removes the urea, salt and excess water through sweat. In on our skin, there are lot of minor pores, and in this pores, there are sweat glands. And through this pores, excess water, including urea, soil, and many more things are removed through the skin. So, this is the second part of our excretion. The third and the most important part of the excretory system are kidneys. Why does this kidney do? Removes urine which contains urea, salt and excess water through filtration. As this urea, uric acid, these are uh, quite harmful for the body and should be removed out of the body. So this process is done by kidneys and, is, and it is present in higher organisms. There is a myth that uh, urea is produced in kidneys. No. This is a myth. It is not present. Uh, it is not produced by kidneys. The urea is formed in liver. Urea is formed in liver. So because ammonia should be converted immediately to urea, that to less harmful toxic material. So this is converted by liver. Then it is passed to uh, the kidneys for purification. Now this blood containing urea. Uric acid is passed to kidneys. We have one pair of kidneys which are situated at the lower ab abdomen. So these are bell shaped. We can see the structure over here. We have one pair of kidneys. If somehow one kidney is not working, the other kidney can do the complete the work of excretion. It will not harm you. But if both the kidneys are not uh, doing proper, are not functioning properly. Then there is uh, we have heard about diases, the way the artificially the harmful and the toxic materials are removed through the body. Now the main function of this kidneys is to produce urine and to purify blood. Whenever anybody asks uh, about that, what is the function of kidneys? Then it is the production of urine and purification of blood. Just like our our filters. Now next is we have ureters. Two tube-like structures you can see here. Their only function, they have only one function is to transfer the urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. That's it. They help only the transportation of urine from kidneys to the urinary bladder. Bladder is a sac-like structure. It holds the uh, urine for some time as it's capable of uh, holding it, then it is thrown out of the body through urethra. This is the opening of the excretory system through which urine is released. In our next video, we would be just studying that how, what are the steps which are involved in the formation of urethra.